We just want to uh, get everybody healthy. As the flu season continues to rage on, local schools are feeling the season's bite. On Monday, Toledo's Maritime Academy announced it would be closing its doors for 48 hours following an outbreak of student illness. We had a noticeable change from Friday to, to yesterday. We had 38 students out. We have 250 total. Academy Superintendent Tom Schaefer says within a matter of days, nearly 20 percent of his student body had called in sick, including 10 students on Monday, adding to the six teachers who also called out and all with the same symptoms. They're flu-like symptoms. Um, you know, I, I could probably say that, that it's probably that, but I don't really know that for a fact. The Maritime Academy isn't the only Toledo school to close. St. John the Baptist School in Point Place has also been shut down since last week when a reported 50 students came down with flu-like symptoms. The recent rash of student illness is catching the attentions of parents across the area. On the NBC24 Facebook page, one parent wrote, This strain of flu is bad. My children are in one of the schools that is closed, and the germs are everywhere. And another one commented, We have five kids and just got over a 24-hour bug, hoping we don't get anything else. What we're seeing in the schools is not all influenza, as best we can tell. Dr. David Grossman, the Lucas County Health Commissioner, says while the outbreak of illness at each school is serious, flu isn't the only problem. They've, there's been illnesses not only of that, there's been strep throat, pink eyes, a lot of viral winter type illnesses that you add those together with an increase in influenza-like illness and probably some influenza, uh, they're seeing more absenteeism. Grossman says parents can help kids stay healthy by staying vigilant, making sure they follow healthy hygiene practices, and if worried about the flu, getting a flu shot. If they haven't gotten them their flu shots, they absolutely should. In Toledo, Nick McGill, NBC24.